How's it going, guys? I'm getting this recording just a little later before bed. Uh, so basically, as you can see right now, this is going to be our next upcoming game. So there was a fellow game that I was wanting to do, but I'm deciding to hold off for it for now. I'm going to probably just eventually play it just later on. Uh, as you know, I've done the Quake 3 Arena. Quake 3 1 was the first one. And then I did a reborn version of it where I actually added face cam. Well, this one is Quick 3 Team Arena, where you actually have a team and it's not just solo. And it's just one of the off branches of like DLC and stuff like that. That's like a totally different uh, Quick Arena game itself that we're going to be doing our first playthrough of. Just like the other one, I haven't played this thing in decades. So I'm going to make sure the face cam works and all that stuff like that. We're going to be adding face cam to it. If it all checks out, uh, I'm pretty much just going to skip the tutorial because I've already played it just to make sure the game actually works and then we'll immediately just jump right into gameplay and I know there's Quake 1, Quake 2, there's Quake 3 which we already did and there's Quake 3 Team Arena and then there's actually Quake 4 and um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the entire Quake franchise uh, eventually we'll be getting Quake 1 and i got to make sure Quake 1 and Quake 2 actually run properly and then eventually down the road, I will be getting Quake 4, which I actually own, well, technically the family owns it, when it actually first came out. And we're talking about, like, mid-2000s. So you needed that monster computer to run that goddamn game. Nowadays, I mean, it's just one of those simple games you can easily just run. It's like 512 megabytes or something like that, I think. But um, usually most Steam games, let's say, like, Windows Vista, Windows XP, and some games might actually run on that on a higher operating system. Some of them you may actually change it around. So that's why I want to make sure these games actually work, they're playable, and if that's the case, we're going to be doing the entire Quake franchise except for Quake 3, which we've already done. So we're going to be starting off Quake 3 Team Arena, we're just going to get that out of the way, and then once I make sure and know that Quake, Team, uh, Quake 1 and Quake 2 actually run on my Windows operating system, then we're going to be starting playthroughs of that. Probably not until after we finish Quake 3 Team Arena, so it might be like sometime in September. So, just want to give you guys a heads up on that. Just let you guys know that you know I'm not stop making videos even with <laughs> busy work is and fam coming in and all this other stuff. So we're definitely gonna be still putting out videos, and it's still gonna be the same schedule until work basically slows down. So, but either way, we're just staying safe, healthy, and sanitized. And um, hope you guys will enjoy the Quick franchise as much as I will, since it'll be my first time playing the first Quake One and Quake Two. And a uh, big shout out to uh, Knock. Uh, I'll definitely make sure I put in his uh, Twitch, his Twitch channel in my description for this uh, video update because he's actually played those. So if you want some expertise, definitely go check out his Twitch channel. Alright, see you guys.